Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday everyone. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a tool called Ping Info View, which is an open source intelligence tool. Alright, so in the previous video, I explained in more detailed sense about what exactly is uh, an open source intelligence framework and how it is used in various fields. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about this tool in particular, alright, and how it works and what exactly the tool is about, alright. So quickly, let's quickly uh, get... Uh, get started so this tool right ping info view so it's a small tool okay, that allows users okay within an IT organization or just a normal users like you and me to easily ping multiple host names or domain names or web domain names okay and its IP addresses or in IP addresses in general terms and also uh, be able to watch the result in one table okay so this technology automatically pings to all hosts uh, in the sense all the host names every number of seconds that you specify and also it displays the number of succeeded and failed pings okay uh, pings in the sense it's ICMP requests okay Inter uh, internet control messaging protocol okay as well as the average ping time okay to troubleshoot any latency issues within the network okay particularly uh, it helps in um, troubleshooting um, issues network issues using trace root functionality all right and users can also save the uh, ping results okay into text uh, format or a HTML format or uh, XML format or they can copy the result into an Excel sheet and actually work through the um, gathered data all right uh, so let's quickly begin guys firstly what we are going to see is we are just going to uh, see how to download the tool first all you need to do is just type download ping info So you just have to do that guys and automatically you will get the results uh, in downside you just have to click one of the link you should be able to uh, get into the web page where it will allow you to download this tool and that's it guys I, i'm already able to uh, i've already started downloading uh, downloading the tool now all right so you can see your download has started okay it's um, just it's still loading okay you can see here your, your download has started that's what it says all right uh, let's quickly go to the downloads page and see if download has begun or not yes there you go guys i was able to successfully download it i can relaunch download as well okay for now this tool is enough all right i'm just going to down quickly go to the downloads and just extract the tool all right so i, I think i've already extracted it i'll just open the folder okay so this is the tool guys all you have to do is just open this tool ping info view all right here what you need to do is it allows you to put in the do, uh, domain names okay where you want to let's say if, uh, you have hundreds of domains and subdomains uh, that you have uh, gathered as a part of information gathering okay if you are a cyber security expert okay like if you are uh, i mean if you are a cyber defense expert or if you are a cyber offense expert uh, whichever role you are in cyber security uh, domain that you work for an it organization um, if you are trying to uh, look into the list of ip addresses that you have uh, uh, you want to find from the list of domain names and subdomain names that you have uh, uh, gotten from other tools okay so this is the right tool for you to, f to find the IP addresses of uh, your domain names or be it your uh, if you work as a IT administrator system admin if you're working as a system admin and if you want to find in-house server workstations IP addresses from a list you can use this tool okay so let's quickly begin guys what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some uh, famous domain names let's take facebook.com and then google.com i will put in yahoo.com all right and then i'm just going to type bing.com bing.com and then uh, i can type instagram.com and then i can type uh, uh, what else i can think of uh, i think amazon.com all right and then i will type flipkart.com all right and then uh, i can put few more ebay.com all right so these are the domains uh, i have added i've added it here okay i've added it in here and i would want to know the ip address to which these domains resolve to guys okay i can do it manually as well just now to show you what i'm going to do is i'm just going to quickly open command prompt okay by typing cmd here so my virtual machine is real slow guys apologies and then i'm just going to type ping space facebook.com okay so this is the IP address guys to which facebook.com results to in my location so obviously this is the IP address 
for me or this may be a global IP address it's not uh, uh, geo uh, it's not based out of geo DNS okay so it's a universal global IP and however I can't do this manually for uh, let's say if I want to uh, find the IP address of around 100 domains 100 top level domains and uh, let's say 100 uh, subdomains of those top level domains okay so it's manual work and a tedious ask okay for me so in that case what I'm going to do I'm just going to import the list and just do uh, just use this ping info view uh, uh, for the job to get done all right so here you can see guys that's it so it has successfully uh, been able to uh, retrieve the results for me okay it shows the IP address and also the reply IP address which means the host is active okay it's not down but where you can see ebay.com uh, it has an IP address but unfortunately it's not getting resolved which means either it has a WAF web application firewall in it that blocks the ICMP requests otherwise th there is a possibility I have entered an incorrect domain okay let's quickly go to ebay.com guys let's see if the domain is active or not or the website is active or not all right, so see, uh, it is active, guys. But however, it's not responding to ICMP requests, which means uh, the eBay.com web server has a WAF in it. Okay, that is a web application firewall that is blocking the ICMP request, or that is, or there is a perimeter firewall that is blocking the ICMP request, which is not giving us a, a ping response. All right, so this is how you do it, guys. And for other domains, you can see here, it's all succeeded. It it all has an IP address. Now to extract the IP address, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, use Control A, copy all, and then I can put it in an Excel sheet. Let's see if I have Excel in the work uh, in my virtual machine. Okay, uh, maybe it's not there. Maybe I can just do a copy and put it in my local host. Let me see if I have Excel in my physical uh, physical machine or physical laptop. Yeah, I'm... so you can see here, guys. I can paste it, guys. So it got copy pasted from my virtual machine to my uh, local physical host. All right. So this is how, guys. I can now extract this list, uh, do a scan against these uh, IP addresses, and do a lot of stuffs. Okay. So this is how these open source intelligence tools works guys and it is going to efficiently give you a lot of information all right and now what i can do i can do a paste transpose okay and take uh, put these ips within a notepad uh, notepad file okay and i can just put it here and i can just uh, use a replace all right just say i want to put a comma and just separate the ip address firstly i'll put a comma and give a backspace and sorry a space and then just do a replace all and these are the uh, IPs guys that has got uh, that has become in an arranged format and I can use these IPs for any sort of things okay uh, like I can uh, use the scan okay or do an nmap scan against these IPs and uh, uh, and try to uh, get as many information about the hosts okay in a more uh, exquisite manner all right so this is how these open source intelligence uh, tools works guys okay it's absolutely free for you to use and gain knowledge okay about your uh, learning target okay and if you found this video helpful please hit the upload button guys and do not forget to subscribe my channel for more useful technical content like this with regards to cyber security all right and if you found this video helpful please do hit the upload button okay and that's the last request i would have for you who've all watched this video okay and up until the end of this video so we'll meet in the next video guys with more uh, useful content like this thank you until then st uh, stay safe really cheers start up bye bye thank you